Reasonable adjustments is an area that often causes concern for line managers due to the requirements of the Equality Act 2010. However, if you approach all employees in the same way and discuss reasonable adjustments openly, seeking advice where necessary from occupational health or other experts, then this should help you handle the process with confidence. You're not expected to know what adjustments should be made, but you must consider them and work with the employee and professionals to identify and apply them when required. Where ill health, injury or other impairment meet the relevant criteria under the Equality Act 2010, discrimination is prohibited and reasonable adjustments to working arrangements must be considered by law. However, considering adjustments where relevant and applying this consistently to all employees is the recommended approach. It is important that advice is sought from occupational health, human resources and the EDI team when determining whether any reasonable adjustments or modifications can be made to the existing workplace and or duties. A risk assessment should be carried out as appropriate. Loan working risk assessments and maternity risk assessments should also be considered. A reasonable adjustment is a change a workplace makes to remove or reduce a disadvantage related to the employee's disability or a job applicant's disability. What is considered reasonable will depend on individual circumstances. The modifications could include changing aspects of the physical environment, adjusting equipment, adding a service, or changing the way processes are carried out. There are things that need to be considered about the adjustment. Will the disadvantage be removed or reduced? Is it a practical adjustment? Is it cost effective? Could it harm the health of other employees? Some examples of reasonable adjustments and different types may include provisions such as providing the right type of phone for an employee who uses a hearing aid, replacing a desk chair with one designed for an employee who has a disability affecting their back, changing deadlines or workloads, agreeing on flexible working hours, providing extra training to employees who require it, providing specialist IT equipment, changes to policy to support the needs of employees with disabilities. It is important to remember that each employee has individual and unique needs and that any reasonable adjustments made should reflect this. The individual employee is often the best person to talk to about what adjustments may work for them. Many adjustments are easy to implement and have little or no cost implications. The Wellbeing Passport is designed to support meaningful conversations between colleagues and line managers about what matters to each colleague as an individual and to support the recording of needs and preferences, including flexible working and reasonable adjustments all in one place. The Passport is particularly helpful when a colleague changes line manager as it will help the new line manager to understand what workplace adjustments the colleague had been receiving previously and avoid the need to begin the process again. The completion of the passport is voluntary. It must build in review dates. However, either party can request an earlier review if needed. If you feel a section isn't relevant to you, feel free to leave it blank. The Trust recognises the importance of providing adjustments for colleagues 
who are not considered disabled but may suffer from either a long or short-term health condition. The Workplace Passport is a live record of adjustments agreed between the employee and their line manager. It details any impact or issue that can arise due to the interaction between the condition or impairment and any barriers that may exist within the workplace that can create a disability at work. Barriers in the workplace can include both attitudes and environmental factors and it is recognised that employees who may need adjustments include those with visible impairments and those with non-visible or hidden conditions. The main purpose of the passport is to ensure everyone has a clear record of the agreed adjustments, reduce the need to reassess adjustments when there are changes to an employee's job or line manager, and act as a useful template for conversations about current and future adjustments. Please contact a member of the Equality, Diversity, Inclusion team should you require any assistance on the next steps. We will be more than happy to walk you through the process.